Good evening everyone, this is Rhett Lewis speaking and thank you for joining us on short notice this evening just to talk about next weekend's uh, the gr greatest Facebook show on earth event in central London. Just before I do commence, would you mind just letting me know that you can certainly hear me just so I, uh, I'm not speaking to myself please. If you could just quickly type a quick message in and let me know. Great, yep, I, for, the, for the guests who have joined us, yep, they can all hear me loud and clear, so that's great news. So, ladies and gentlemen, as I just mentioned, my name's Rhett, and my job next week as the event coordinator is to ensure that every one of you gets the maximum benefit from attending this event. First and foremost, I'd like to personally congratulate every one of you for taking the action and uh, joining Chris and Joe next week. And they've got one hell of a weekend in store for you guys. Uh, we're now officially sold out for, for the event. Unfortunately, we've got no seats remaining. So uh, again, you know, personally, congratulations to all of you for making the effort to sign up early and take advantage. Unfortunately, everyone else will have to wait till later in the year um, if they want to see the same event. So very quickly, we're just going to run through some slides in regards to just making sure everyone knows what's actually happening next weekend and where the venue will be, uh, ha where it will be held. Hopefully you have been receiving all the emails. If you haven't, uh, I did send you an email today asking you just to, uh, for the people who have just signed up recently, just to make sure you have signed up to the Aweber list so you will get any future updates in the next week. However, I can confirm that the event is held at the Millennium Gloucester Hotel and Conference Centre which is directly across from the Gloucester Road tube station, if you're aware of the Gloucester Road tube station, that is. When you depart the Gloucester Road tube station, it is actually on your right-hand side. So don't go left towards the KFC and the Hungry um, Burger King. Please turn right, and you'll see it on your right-hand side. It's literally 50 yards away from the tube station when you depart on the right-hand side. Now... If you haven't booked any accommodation, and uh, although we do have many people coming from the London area, but if you're coming from outside of London and you're looking for some cheap accommodation, instead of going to the website of the Millennium Gloucester Hotel, I strongly su suggest you try one of these uh, websites. From my own experience of booking rooms for the uh, speakers, we have actually saved about 40 or 50 quid a night um, using these links right in front of you, which is www.hotels with an S click.com or www.otel. And um, definitely worth checking the prices there before you book through the uh, Millennium Gloucester Hotel. You don't need to stay in the hotel, although it is going to be a, a jam packed weekend. There are plenty of uh, other hotels in the area. Um, just make sure it's pretty close so you, you, know, you can make sure you're there on time every day. On the Saturday morning, registration commences at 8 a.m. and uh, it will be open between 8 to 9.30. We do strongly suggest that you get there 30 minutes before the commencement of the event, which will be at 9.30. The reason why, ladies and gentlemen, is couple reasons. First of all, it'll be an opportunity to meet um, everyone else who will also be arriving and, and getting to know uh, each other. But secondly, when you do arrive, we are going to ask you to come and register, then go and collect your name badges, and then hopefully grab a quick picture with Chris and Joe. So as you can imagine, when so many people come in on the weekend, we want to make sure we get started on time um, so if you can please arrive 30 minutes before the start of the event and uh, I appreciate some of you may have already booked your um, train tickets or and so forth um, and if that's the case I'm sure we'll uh, be able to accommodate but uh, if you are available to come a little bit earlier I would gratefully appreciate it. The event will be held on the first floor of the Millennium Gloucester Hotel so when you walk in the main entrance there will be a stairwell and a lift directly on your left-hand side. If you just come straight up those stairs and you'll come to the first floor or come up the lift and you won't miss it. We will have it all signposted so you, you, know, you won't get lost. But basically, walk towards the reception on your left-hand side will be the uh, 
stair lift as well as the um, stairs and just come straight up to the first floor. If you are driving in, there is car park available. Um, so it is quite expensive from memory. When I, I, I actually went and viewed the um, venue last night just to get make sure get a get get a, get a good feel of the place. So I think it was like thirty five pound per twenty four hours. But um, if you are driving, you know, just I strongly suggest that you just ring the hotel, and make sure they've got available space before you drive in. Okay, here's a quick agenda for the weekend. As I've mentioned, registration will commence at 8 a.m. Um, there will be teas and coffees served, so you know, make sure you get there early and come and eat all the biscuits before everyone else does. We will be starting exactly at 9.30 sharp, so um, you know, everyone will be sit seated and ready to start for 9.30. Joe and Chris have got so much they're trying to fit in this weekend, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, we, with regards to starting times on the Saturday and Sunday, as well as the Monday for the VIPs, as well as all the breaks, I, you know, I, I'm going to kindly ask if you can make sure you get back in the rooms for the start times after all the breaks. I'd really appreciate it. Now, um, morning tea will break off for 11. All the breaks are about 30 minutes, so you're going to have plenty of time to network. The lunch break will be at 1.30 and you'll have one hour there. So if you're considering meeting other people in town and so forth, yeah, you've got a good hour there. Uh, 4.30 will be afternoon tea break, and then we're finishing up at seven o'clock that evening. So it's a fairly full day, um, and by the end of it, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be uh, ready to let your hair down. And if that's the case, then I, I'd like to, uh, invite all of you to uh, attend Joe's uh, first birthday. Literally, this this weekend today um, was a year ago since Joe actually met Chris Farrell or went to an event, and um, which was down in Heathrow, I believe, and uh, actually listened to Chris speak and signed up to some sort of uh, coaching with Chris. And uh, one year on, she's on stage and learning or te teaching all you guys all about Facebook. So Joe would like to invite you all to come and enjoy Saturday night with her. Uh, we'll probably be going to a, a, lo a local bar very close, just to have a couple of drinks and, uh, and have a sing along and so forth. So if you are staying in uh, the hotel or the vicinity, or you are, are a lo Londoner, please don't book to go home straight after seven, at least come and stay for a half hour and uh, joining the celebrations. On the Sunday, um, as you can see, the celebrations won't be going too late into the night because we, uh, we're we cracking on at nine o'clock the next morning. So again, networking and arrival com will commence from 8 a.m. sharp. Uh, the, event, the event will commence at 9 a.m. with morning tea at 10.30, lunch again for one hour at one, afternoon tea at 3.30, and a 5.30 finish. So, Pretty, pretty much a jam-packed day on the Sunday. At 5.30, all the um, VIPs will be whisked away as, as soon as they say goodbye to everyone else, and we'll be going out with an exclusive dinner with Chris, Joe, and a few other special guests. So literally from the event, we'll be going straight from there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so just, just bear that in mind. Um, we'll be shooting straight off straight after the event. Now for the uh, VIP guests who will be with us uh, on the Monday, the arrival time will start at 9 a.m. Oh, sorry, arrival starts at 9, the event will commence at 9.30, morning tea at 11, lunch and networking for 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. Uh, the event will get going again, so it's a good hour for lunch, and then we'll finish up at 4.30, and that, that most knowing Chris and Joe will probably most likely end up in the bar somewhere at 4.30. So again, if you are coming on the Monday, um, if you haven't booked your tickets yet to go home and so forth, you know, I'm sure they'll be hanging around until five o'clock or so forth if you want to have a last minute catch up with them. What do you need to bring? This is uh, quite important. Don't stress if you haven't got a laptop because again, some people, won't have laptops, some will, but if you do have a laptop, make sure you bring the charger with it. 
because uh, you'll be using it quite significantly over the weekend. There will be internet access available all weekend. Fingers crossed, touch wood, that it, you know, with so many people using it at once, it will, uh, will stand the test of time. Um, but, you know, some people will be using laptops while other people will do, be doing other exercises. The whole event, as Joe has mentioned in the past, is going to be very interactive and you'll be working in small groups or, and sometimes in large groups, sometimes as individuals doing certain tasks throughout the day. Um, so just bear that in mind. Now, if you do have a digital camera, please bring it along. Make sure it's charged or buy new batteries for it because there'll be great lots of opportunities to take lots of photos and what you'll be doing over the weekend is going to help you um, the following week and I can't give too much away but we have got quite a big surprise for you, for all of you for attending so make sure that you know you do come prepared with whatever you possibly can if you have a little uh, camera like such as a flip camera or a, even a mobile phone camera or um, a ZI8 Kodak one, I think, what Joe uses. Anything like that, again, you'll have opportunities to, oh, we'll be asking you to make recordings throughout the weekend for this special surprise, so uh, that would be great. Even things like a dictaphone, headphones, microphones, um, extension leads or extension cords. As, as you can imagine, with so many people in the room, um, if you've got one of those, uh, um, little boxes where you can stick eight, six or eight plugs or four, even four plugs in, you know, feel free to just stick that in your, uh, in your uh, suitcase while, before you come along. Um, more importantly, make sure that um, you, you're well hydrated throughout the week and um, as you're going to be doing so much learning and, and so forth, make sure you keep yourself hydrated. If you, uh, you know, for lunch, if you prefer not to go and eat out, make sure you bring your own lunch and so forth. Um, you know, it's very difficult to supply everyone's dietary requirements and so forth. There are plenty of places to eat around the vicinity. I checked them out last night and there's places like Nando's, uh, some lovely restaurants, even down to fish and chip shops and Burger King and Hungry Jack's, or, um, KFC, things like that. So uh, there is a wide range of lunch options around if you don't want to bring your own lunch. And don't forget your business cards. Uh, you're going to be meeting like-minded individuals throughout the weekend and building with a lot of good relationships. Um, make sure you know you bring something so you can you can keep in touch. What do you need to do before the event? Well, make sure that you plan your route. Please go to the the tube web um, uh, website, which I've put in front of you, tfl.gov.uk. And just if you're catching the tube in or the overland train, just making sure there's no delays or that line is closed over the weekend. You are, I'm sure you've all experienced how bad the tube can be on weekends. Um, looking at it initially, there are some closures, but it shouldn't affect the Gloucester Road area at this moment in time. But please check and plan your route before you leave. The second thing I'd like you to do before the event is please send me your mobile telephone number. And you can just email uh, to the web email address there, ret at joebarnesonline.com. Why I ask you to do that, ladies and gentlemen, is because we will e contact you via text message on the morning if we find there's any delays on any certain lines or some, anything like that which might affect people getting in there. Um, and again, if we're... If, if we have breaks over the weekend and we want you back early or, or, you, or we're going to give you an extra 15 minutes over lunch break, etc., I can just drop everyone a quick text very quickly um, from my computer. So please, to get all updates about the weekend, please send me your mobile telephone number. Thirdly, ensure that you become personal friends of Chris Farrell and Joe Barnes on Facebook. Very important, and you'll find out from over the weekend. Um, when you becoming personal friends, just mention to Chris and Joe on their personal home pages on Facebook that hey, you're coming to the event and please you know sign me up. I'll make sure that they uh, uh, accept you prior to the weekend. Um, again, something else I would strongly ask you to do before the weekend is that if you do have already a Facebook page up and running or you've got a, a 
a list of friends and so forth, please tell them to enter the competition to win the live recordings of the event. We will, will be filming the event the whole weekend and at the end of the event we will be giving it away to some lucky person and, and this is a contest and this is something we'll be teaching you over the weekend. So the more people we can get signed up, it is going to greatly benefit you at the end of the weekend. Um, I can assure you of that. So you, please make sure you uh, tell everyone and encourage them to go to the website below and sign up. Just some other reminders from my experience running events in the past. Please wear layers of comfortable clothing throughout the event. What I mean is that with so many people in the room and having breaks and people walking in and out, the, the temperature of the room can fluctuate quite quickly, which the air conditioners can't deal with. So I have used this venue many times in the past. The, it's usually pretty good, but just, to, just for reassurance, if it does get too hot, at least you've got some layers to take off, or vice versa, if it gets a little bit cold, you can stick your pullover back on. Um, again, you will be on your feet quite a bit. It is quite interactive this weekend, so make sure you've got comfortable shoes for the weekend. Little things like eating well in the lead up and over the weekend. Um, make sure you take care of yourself. We need lots of energy. Everyone will be participating and getting involved. So uh, you won't. it's not like a normal webinar or step seminar where you'll be sitting down after lunch and falling asleep while the presenter comes on. You'll be uh, up and about. Don't forget to print off the directions to the venue. Also, for security reasons, please make sure that you uh, don't lose your name badge, but wear it at all times, coming in and out the rooms and so forth. We we know that there will be lots of other people also coming out on the uh, Saturdays and Sundays evenings to come and meet you guys and so forth. We just the the uh, hotel has kindly asked to ensure that. They know who's involved with the webinar, uh, with the seminar, and if you could just kindly wear your um, name badge at all times. Um, just again, uh, something I've already mentioned earlier in in this conversation, but we are videoing the event, so uh, as respect, just for respect for the actual uh, speakers throughout the weekend, please ensure that you're back on the room on time after the after the breaks, not five minutes later. Let's get straight back on time just so we can stick to the actual itinerary for the whole weekend and Joe and Chris can get everything in which they plan to uh, share with you. And two other things which, you know, which I find that uh, is probably the most important part of the weekend is that you build, will be building some solid relationships with other like-minded individuals. So make sure you come with some sort of elevator prick pitch where you can summarize what you're currently doing or your latest project in about 15 seconds. And lastly, and most importantly, is come with lots of um, courage and come and don't be afraid to come and meet as many people as you want. I, I, we, I get really annoyed when I have events and we find people who just sit there and, and don't want to associate with anyone. Now. Don't get me wrong, there will be plenty of time to learn in and so forth, but while we get out the rooms and go to network, instead of running off and making lots of phone calls, unless you definitely need to do that, make sure you hang around and have a chat with everyone and get to meet. Aim to meet five people a day and build up some solid relationships. Just a few quick reminders for the VIPs who will be joining us on, on the Monday. Throughout the weekend, ladies and gentlemen, you will have a networking room specifically for VIPs. You don't have to stay in there, but you know you you will have the opportunity to meet some guests who I've invited, who are f Facebook experts, and and during the breaks they will be having fifteen minute talks, and if you want to listen into those ones, you'd be more than welcome to. Um, also, there'll be front row seating for for you guys. Unfortunately, because of the shape of the room, uh, not everyone will be able to sit in the actual front row, but uh, you will got, you guys will have the first two or three rows all to yourself every day. Again, that's why it's important that you guys get here early so we can make sure we can get you in there and you can pick, choose your seats before everyone else comes into the room. And lastly, don't forget the VIP dinner on the, on the Sunday. As soon as, it finishes, as soon as the event finishes on the Sunday evening, We'll be whisking straight away at 5.30. So 
that's basically this uh, uh, short webinar. And I just wanted to open it up now to you, ladies and gentlemen, if you've got actually any questions which I haven't covered, um, which you'd like to ask. Now, I think the best way to do this is um, you could type the questions in for me and I can have a quick look, or you we can um, put your hands up and I can open up the lines and have a quick chat with you. So let, if you just give me 20 seconds and I can just quickly... Uh, um, I'm just going to delete all the hands, put all the hands down. So if you've got a if you do have a question, put your hand up now, and uh, I can look out for it. Again, if if there's any, uh, okay, is there an office supply store near the Millennium? Um, office supply store near the Millennium. I'm unsure of that. Uh, Lynn, um, I will be going down on Tuesday. So if you want to email me on Wednesday to the email address you can see on the on there, I'll I will have a look out for you and uh, be able to reply to you on Wednesday. Um, here's another question. I think I tried too many. Can we plug in laptops? Yes, Brett, you can plug in laptops throughout the weekend. So there are. Um, uh, what do you call it? Power plugs around the room, and there's quite a few of them. However, we are trying to get the hotel to sort out to make sure everyone's got uh, power all weekend. But uh, I'm sure one way or another we can juggle it and make sure uh, everyone doesn't run out of power throughout the week weekend. Um, we've got a is that a question? How do I open that up? Sorry, uh, Karen Layton, I'm just opening it up to you. One moment, please. Hello, Karen, can you hear me? Hello, Karen. Hello, Karen. I think I've lost Karen. Just type the question in. Oh, here we go. Is no. Just type the question in. Oh, here we go. Sorry, Mike, your microphone's not working. Um, Karen, just type the question in and I'll see if I can answer it. Just something I have remembered, ladies and gentlemen. Many of you have mentioned on um, emails as well as uh, Facebook that uh, you'll be in the bar on Friday night, which is great. Just to let you know, uh, Joe and Chris will be in the bar between 7 and 8 p.m. So if you are around on Friday night, feel free to come and say hello and uh, have a drink and uh, so forth on, on the Friday evening. Um, unfortunately, they won't be around after that because uh, they'll be back into rehearsals uh, they will be rehearsing this event all oh, all Thursday and Friday, but uh, I have scheduled in for them to have a break over dinner and um, come and say hi to you guys. There will uh, just a quick one, Susanna. Wi-Fi facilities, yes, there will be. We will supply internet to all of you all weekend, so you will have Wi-Fi facilities in the uh, conference room all weekend. I believe if it works in the conference room, it should work out in the reception part as well. Um, what is the extension called for and is it essential to have a dictaphone? Uh, Nicole, all those things I've put there, none of them are essential. It's just if you do have some, if you do have some of them or you can borrow off a friend or something, you, you know, you'll just get more value out the weekend. But uh, please don't go out and buy, um, don't go and buy a dictaphone just for the weekend, okay? Again, you know, with a, with a uh, camera or that, don't buy it, but if you can borrow or you've got one, just bring it along and uh, we can certainly make use of it. Um, yes, in regards to your question mark about your computer, it only lasts about one hour, so does mine. These Dell computers, they're absolute rubbish. So look, as I said, one way or another, we're gonna make sure everyone's gonna have enough power for the weekend, we'll do our absolute best. That's why I just mentioned, if any of you have got extension cords, where you can plug in six or eight sockets, we can put one of them into the middle and we can run each other's off that if uh, if the hotel aren't able to accommodate all of us with uh, power. Um, as FTML pages are going during the week, is it worth us setting up more before the event? Karen, unfortunately I'm no Facebook book guru in any way, shape or form. I'm, I'm just the uh, Joey who runs around and uh, wipes Chris and uh, Joe's bum. So 
in regards to that question, uh, I suggest that you don't do anything before the weekend in regards to changing the iframes, because Joe will be uh, actually covering that in quite great depth. Um, especially, you know, the, I think there's more stuff she wants to teach you guys, which she hasn't given away on your, on her free videos yet. So uh, please, um, please, yeah, don't waste any time on that until next week. Where do you put your hand up? Kathy, you have put your hand up, and if I can open it, I'll see what I can do. Here we go. Are you there, Kathy? Great, great idea. Cool, very nice of you. Thanks, Kathy. Um, yeah, your first question, great idea. I'll certainly put that to Joe, and I'm sure that that could certainly happen. Uh, I was personally going to plan by sending out, you know, getting when you arrive, saying to you guys, if you want to stay in contact, put your name and email address and I'll photocopy them. But what you've suggested is a better idea. Um, in regards to your second question, there will be a total of 20 VIPs uh, who will be in attendance. We had it initially at 15 and uh, I started emailing some people yesterday. Um, because we were just one or two short of 15 and now all of a sudden uh, we've got 20. So, but we'll, there'll be, unfortunately, uh, we'll be struggling for room on the Monday. So we can't, I, I don't think, we, we might be able to squeeze one or two more in, but I think 20 is almost the maximum. I just got to measure it out on Tuesday. And your last question, just remind me, oh, you, oh that, you're just looking forward to meeting us. Yes, we're looking to for, forward to meeting yourself, Peter and the rest of the gang who will be also attending. So thank, no worries. Look forward to meeting you then, and take care. Thanks, Kathy. Okay, now couple, let's just finish up with a few more questions. Uh, yeah, Nicole, look, you've got a desktop and you don't have a laptop. Don't worry, you'll be sitting beside someone with a laptop. As I said, a lot of the interactive sessions you'll be working in small groups or even large groups. So you know, although you don't have a laptop in front of you, you'll be surrounded with people with laptops and. Uh, uh, we've planned for all that. Don't worry about that, and uh, so forth. Now, is the hotel offering anything for those who are staying there? Free in-room internet. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, I haggled and haggled and haggled with the uh, hotel, and they would not give me even a tuppence uh, for you guys. Um, I told them that I could get cheaper accommodation elsewhere, and they said, "Go on, go on, just go and book it there then." So that's their attitude, unfortunately. Ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, you know, don't 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 be hesitant to ask and try to barter with them when you arrive. Uh, but uh, best of luck. Hope you have more luck than I did. Um, if you don't have a fa fan page, should you set one up before the weekend, Marv? Please don't worry about setting up a fan page. Um, by the end of the weekend, not only will you have a f uh, know everything about fan pages and how to set one up but you also have a product which you can sell at the end of the weekend. So look, you know, just come with your eyes um, and ears ready to take in lots and lots of information. And uh, what else we got here? Well, good question, Karen. Does anyone want to room share? Um, I think she's only suggesting that she's looking for female uh, company. Um, and if that's the case, then Karen, I think the best thing would be is to go to the greatest FB show on earth fan page and plug it up, put it up there, and uh, you know, people can uh, can reply to you. But uh, it's a great way of keeping costs down. Um, unfortunately, as Joe's partner, I have to room share with Joe. Um, uh, yeah, wish I could get my own room, but uh, I have to put up with her. So yeah, okay. Is there any particular dress code? 
Andy, if it was up to me, I'd be wearing shorts all weekend. So unfortunately, as the event organiser, I think I have to look a little bit smarter. But for you guys, please put your flip-flops and shorts on if that's what makes you feel comfortable. Um, you know, if you fit, prefer to wear, wear suits and ties, well, that's entirely up to yourself. But as I said, I'd, I'd strongly suggest that you wear layers of clothing, of comfortable clothing, where you're happy to sit around in all day. Um, you know, I'm not a suit and tie man myself, so, uh, um, you know, wear whatever you feel comfortable in. But there's no certainly dress code. If you are coming to the VIP dinner on the, you know, Sunday night, just bear that in mind. Um, you might just want to wear a shirt for the Sunday evening or things like that. But uh, again, there's no, there's no actual um, uh, dress code. Uh, what about autoresponders? Uh, Brett, uh, can you just elaborate a little bit on that? So I'm a little bit stuck with you, what you're saying there. Uh, let me just check and make sure there's no ha more hands up, which I haven't. No, fine. Um, Dave Smith wants to share a room with me. Well. Best of luck, Dave, but um, Chris Farrell's looking for someone. <laughs> I could always pass you on to Chris. Um, no, unfor unfortunately, uh, all, all, I have to knock, knock you back on that one. Um, Joe might be coming in a bikini. Um, I have tried to uh, ask her to do that, but uh, she, I think she's still lying out near the pool, if you haven't seen her fan page today, um, or personal page. Um, she's been lying near the pool all day in London, so uh, living a good life. Uh, do we need them set up? Do we need... Oh, no, you don't need any autoresponders set up, Brett. You don't need... Look, every, everything you need for this product by the end of the weekend, you'll be putting into place over the weekend. So, uh, you know, just... As I said, just come and uh, just make sure you're switched on to uh, learn and, and be ready to implement. It's uh, um, That's what the weekend's all about. You know, it's, I can reassure you there's no sales pitch. We won't be asking you to sign up to anything at the end of the weekend. Um, you know, it will be just the total content from, from the first minute at 9.30 until 4.30 on the Monday for people who are still there so you know you, you guys are going to have an absolute blast um okay we've got a question nicole i'm just going to open you up nicole good evening nicole Hel yes hello Oh, there, there's there's uh, restaurants at the actual hotel, but there's many there's many food outlets within within half a block away. Um, I literally walked around the block last night, and I I think I counted about 30, thirteen or fourteen different food outlets. You know, from a three course dinners all the way down to you know cheap takeaways. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's. Uh, I was quite so surprised myself. There, there is a Tesco's directly across the road from Gloucester Road, and there's. A, I think I'm from. Yeah, and there's. Um, I think there's a Marks and Spencers on the other side of the actual there. So, you know, we j no worries at all. Just on on that anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Do you want to close that one off for us, Joe? Um, just yeah. Just we will be having. I'll be providing snacks uh, throughout the weekend to keep the energy levels up and so forth. So, you know, you don't need to go silly by buying lots of food uh, for the rooms. We'll have plenty in the rooms for you guys. Um, you, you have one hour for your lunch breaks, ladies and gentlemen. So if you are meeting people um, or you need to go and do some work or, you know, um, whatever during your lunch breaks, uh, hopefully not spend all your time in the bar getting drunk, but uh, each to their own. Um, you do have one hour every day. Um, what time are Chris and Joe available in the bar? They, uh, Peter, they're in the bar between 7pm and 8pm on the Friday evening. As I said, they've literally only got an hour to grab something to eat and say hi to you guys because then we're back to rehearsals. Uh, so I will have to drag them away, unfortunately. But uh, if you are around, Peter, make sure you come and say hello. The bar I'm talking about is in the reception area. So as soon as you walk in the front door, you'll see the reception. 
and you'll see the bar on your left hand side um, and uh, if I can I'll try to rob Chris's wallet get his wallet off him and put his credit card on the uh, uh, on the counter but uh, I'll, I'll have to might have to sneak into his room over the over the week and see what I can do um, okay what do we got here Are we got uh, people coming from the states or other countries well Dave we've got people coming from Canada uh, uh, France um, Germany Denmark um, Israel um, Ireland Northern Ireland uh, Wales although you don't count them even all the way from Scotland we've got guys coming down from there uh, we've got people coming from Spain um, and I was it Port no Finland I think as well was the other country so this is turning into a bit of a worldwide event Joe's flown uh, in from Australia um, for the event as well as Chris is flying in from the States so I think all the people from the actual United States are because uh, uh, I think uh, Chris and Joe have let the cat out of the bag that we will be doing a couple of events later this year over there. They've uh, they've held back. Um, we've even got people coming from Dorset. How's that, Mike? Mike finding all the way from Dorset. Okay. Um, any more questions? I'm I'm coming from Heathrow to the hotel. I need cash, or do they take? Uh, from Canada. Okay, Lynn, um, I assume you mean you're getting the tube from the hotel. If you get in the tube from the hotel, they will accept credit card and visa. If you drive, if you get in a cab from Heathrow, they will accept a credit card as well. Um, I don't know if anyone lives in the Heathrow area, but if they are, they might be able to pop by and pick you up on the way in um, because Lynn is coming all the way from Canada for the event. So if there's anyone out there come from Canada, uh, please make contact with Lynn on the home page and uh, you might be able to help her uh, direct her into uh, central London. That would be appreciated. Apart from that, uh, let me just have one last review because I appreciate time is passing us by on a Saturday night. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your time. As you can see with the uh, email address down the bottom of this page, at any time you have any questions, just please remember I'm here to make sure you guys have a fabulous time. Just drop, send me a quick email or your telephone number, I will get back to you. Um, if you have any questions over the weekend or any issues, you don't hesitate to come and uh, find me and I'll do my best to uh, be the problem solver and try to uh, sort everything out for you guys. As I said, I'm here to make the most of it. Make, make, make sure you guys get the most out of this weekend and uh, you know again congratulations to every one of you for making the effort and the commitment to sign up early and uh, you know I can't wait to meet every one of you and uh, we're going to have an absolute bar blast so look let's hang, all hang up let's get back with our families enjoy tonight and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend Start taking care of yourself early in the week and uh, so we can let our head, heads hair down on Saturday and Sunday evenings, ladies and gentlemen. So apart from that, good night. Thank you very much.